we're back. Hello, everybody. I'm Dark Phoenix Gaming here, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2 War of the Chosen with one of the very few series that I have on my channel that are basically a mix between recorded videos and live streams on Twitch that I edit the VODs of. And this is one of the recorded videos, just because at the moment I don't really have time to live streams, but I wanted to play some more XCOM 2. And it's been ages since I did anything of the sort, so I just decided to do a video for this. So, last time we left off, I'd successfully killed the Chosen Assassin. And we're doing some projects in the Proving Grounds along those lines. As well as researching plasma rifles and stuff. But we also had a council mission pop up in New Mexico. Which is the Warlock's territory. Which will reward us with a bunch of supplies and intel. And, um, Setting course which for the is Mexican to regional track. Take out an advent important person. That's what we're gonna do next. First. I'm going to get everyone off of our team and make everything available to us. I'm going to be taking the big boys along for this one primarily though, since it's a difficult mission. That's one ranger coming along. Our Reaper is out of the game for a while. You can come along. We need a sharpshooter. I'll take a grenadier. Let's see. Specialist. Actually, before I commit you to this, let's check your abilities and make sure. Yeah, you are one of the medics, because I have one specialist who I have tailored to the ability to hack rather than being a medic, and I didn't want to accidentally bring them along. You can have a med kit. So it's a smoke bomb. I like to keep my medics alive, shocking as that may be. I could take either a ranger or a grenadier or a specialist. My Templar and my Reaper are both injured right now, so they're out of the picture for this one. I think I'm going to bring along, provided this is someone that fits my criteria for it. Yeah, I'll bring another specialist here. Med kit and a plus nade. Oh wait, we have one more slot. But you, my friend, have room for something else. Our Grenadier is going to probably be getting shot at a lot, just because they tend to get up close. Albeit not as up close and personal as a Ranger would, but still up close and personal. So I think a nanoscale vest is the best fit for you. Sharpshooter. You can take a flashbang and a mimic beacon, I think. Now, a ranger. Given, we're giving you a plasma grenade and a 
you can have a nanoscale vest. I'd like to keep you alive. And I think the plasma is the best bet here. Now the question is, do I want to bring a second grenadier or a second ranger? Either would come in handy. I mean, I suppose I could bring a rookie to train them up, but this is... This is a difficult mission, and we have the training room in the Gorilla Ops Center for training up our rookies, I suppose, so that's not really a good idea, I don't think. Actually, I think I'm going to bring a second ranger, and I'm going to skip that one I was on just a second ago, because... He's afraid of the Chosen, and would probably run away if the Warlock decided to show. And I'd like to avoid that. You can have a flashbang... ...and a smoke bomb. Is what we'll go for. So, Major... Major... Khan, codenamed Cobra, and we're taking Lieutenant Alvarez Frag, Lieutenant De Archangelo Hollow Fencer, Pickens Fint, uh, Fincher, Corporal Tansel, who doesn't have a nickname yet, Sergeant Franklin Doormaster. Wow, how do you get a nickname like Doormaster? That I would love to know. I really would. Anywho, let's launch the mission and get underway. Sky Ranger deploy. Squad green to deploy. Okay, let's get on it. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I played any XCOM 2, so I'm kind of glad to be getting back to the saddle, even if it is with a difficult mission. And I'm going to try and do a recording or stream with XCOM 2 at least every couple of weeks, because it and Stalker's uh, Aurora's Dawn are the two uh, stream series that I'm doing intermittently as streams and VODs or VODs slash YouTube videos at Advent the moment, and a high the two of them I want to be doing a lot of when I can, just because I really enjoy the both. spokesman would like us to ensure they don't reach their destination. Locate and capture the target if possible. Neutralize them if necessary. Don't leave any hostile forces standing in your way. Already, neutralize target and Advent vehicle. Capture or kill enemy VIP. Yes, sir. Menace 1 5, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Oh. Not too far away, fortunately. We're in a concealed position. But we saw a number of enemies there, unfortunately. 24 turns until forced retreat. I hate forced retreat. Got it. That's this ain't so bad, I suppose. Yeah. But I don't know. There is one thing that the mission briefing doesn't tell you about this assignment. What happens if you kill the VIP? Got it covered. And what I'm referring to here is the fact that killing the VIP means you only get some of the mission rewards. Because you remember on the mission reward screen when I was reading about how it was offering us both intel and Got supplies. It. Well, if we kill the VIP we only get the supplies, not the intel. Because the intel is seemingly gained from interrogating okay, the VIP. So you have to bring them back alive to get that intel. It's 
little fact that they don't tell you about in the mission briefings, and I wish that was a little bit more transparent. Advent troops spotted! This is the one, right? Menace 1 5. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP if possible. Knock them out and bring them in. Okay, I am going to try and bring down this Archon, if possible. That is not good! He's the main threat to my guy up on the roof. You, I'm gonna hold off. him, then he'll probably want to waste time moving into cover. Should give us a bit of an edge. Oh. No, we just have you. So. If I did a sword attack on this guy, there's no guarantee we'd kill him. We already have one guy exposed up there. I think we're gonna have to just let him be exposed, frankly. And hope that things go okay. Finally! I'll relocate you and take the 100% shot. That's a trooper down. You want some more? Yeah. He's gonna take some pretty bad damage, I think. Oh no. Not necessarily. But he is being prepared to take damage. The Andromedon is my real. They try to flank us! Now. He's 
also on Overwatch. Fuck me. The reposition is on us. That is a bound ranger. Fire spreading! Alright. Someone is going to have to take direct action here. See, you are not currently in the Overwatch site. I can use that somehow, probably. I'm going to take damage when I do this, but so be it. Or maybe he doesn't. How many is that now? Okay. You. Damage. It's only a grazing shot. At this stage, I'll take what I can get, quite frankly. Do what you can. Seven damage. Bring the bastard down, please. percent flank shot and you miss. Come on. Fucking come on, man. How does that work? Do tell. Well, one person at minimum is going home. 
with serious medical bills to pay. That I'm sure this sort of thing is perfectly healthy. Really? Deflection! I'm on the move. Wait till the next turn to see what that does, but. You are fucking flanked now. It hit the plate. Yeah, bastard. No. On the move. You are shooting his ass. God damn it! I got 74% chance to hit and bloody missed. Jesus. I guess that'll be okay. Bitch. And lay into him at point blank range. It's dead! It has to be dead! <laughs> yeah, Not thank around. you for missing that. Or hitting that, rather. If you had missed that, I would have had to kill you. You may think I am joking. I am not. I don't joke about potential murder cases. What's over there? Please shoot him. Put up the armor! Here I come. To there. Unfortunately, I don't have the range to pull the left off. Or a nade. Or to do a nade for that matter. I'm going to try and shoot you now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not even close! Lose someone. I think we, we might are. be. Ugh. That looked painful. It really did. Damn that stinks! This looks a little ugly. We got some people who need healing. Two of them, in fact. How about you do some of that? Went off the damage, armor. unfortunately. You do that. Unfortunately, it's an Andromedon, meaning it doesn't like to die. Oh, for fuck's sake! Adjusting sights. 
I'm ready. I'm on it. Let's see. You Heading fall out. back to there. Pistol his ass, please. I'm gonna take the target at it. X-ray neutralized. And that should do it for them. Now I think this is the package. Oh no, that's the shell now. Fuck. We don't have anyone else. Able to do anything so. right now. Heal by coming through. Right. Nine damage for you. Not going to be enough. They're trying to fight oh, us! Fuck, fight. fuck, fuck. We're We're we got a casualty. I'm on it! Fucker. I should have managed that last turn better. And done some healing. More off. I really fucked that one up. Let's check it before you get too close. Ammo out! Okay. You. Let's do this! Oof. I'm on it. Moving these two up. Along with him. Good to go. Come on. And now we're ending the turn. I won't put you on Overwatch just in case they decide to shoot him or something. Position. For you is to pick up the body. Not a problem. Of your comrade that died of poisoning. On the move. Now everyone Got else it. can just dash for it. She could potentially heal herself. But I want to wait until everyone is up here first. Before we make the move on that guy. Just in case it leads to reinforcements. Get your ass up here with that body. Beat up. A little bit of field healing is in order, I think. So now. Tired of waiting around. As for you, it's nap time. My good sir. It's Status nap confirmed. time. Target package in custody. 
Heading out. Now, pick up that. It, Let's yep. go. Target VIP secured. So we On your can order. move up and get ready to exit. Good. Come get some. You go on Overwatch. That is exactly. Alien what reinforcements I inbound. Five, we're would picking up be. an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Can we get this guy out this turn? That would be a no. What I'm going to do. I'm going to have everyone set down their bodies and go on Overwatch. On Overwatch! On Overwatch! You guys Put gotta down. get ready to receive some company now. And spoilers, it ain't gonna be Got friendly coming. company. Neither. Oh yeah! Just reload. Come and go some. on Overwatch. Let's rock! Reload. Overwatch! And we will see. <laughs> At least we know where they are! And a purifier. Adjusting aim. Get it together. Not even close. Lost our target down. Of our attacks hit. But the person we brought down is not the one I wanted to. It wasn't the purifier and it wasn't the lancer. God damn it. But they're up nice and close now, so let's show them what we really think of them, shall we? I nicked him. I did not ask you to nick him, I asked you to kill him. Will you please pay attention to orders? We have a 100% shot on both of them with Doormaster. No, it's 100% with the sword, meaning it's too risky with the purifier, because they like to go boom. And speaking of going boom, I think we should help him out with Grenade that. Out. Shall we? He's not feeling the going boom thing today, apparently. Pity. Well, maybe we can kill him from back here. And That's he did feel the going boom at that time. Well done. Really? Yeah, I didn't get it! Kill him. I swear, if you'd missed that at fucking 100%, I would have been so pissed. Advent forces sighted. Balls. That's three more of them, and we've only got 15 turns to go. You, my friend, are out of ammunition. Good to go. Ugh. Troopers and an officer. I could slash one of them. Is there any way I can get to the other also? We don't 
have the ammo to suppress right now, but Rock and roll! If you reload it. Press him. Come on, put your head out. I'm doing any real damage? Okay, I'll go. You move up. And then on Overwatch. Go on Overwatch. And flash at him. Bring down one of the elite. You can't that guy's me. pinned, and the officers must advance and get to where we are. I could kill him like that, but no. I'll just move you up. Covering out. Ten damage already. Miss the target. Someone's gonna take a bit of a hurt, but still, ten damage. Missed your Overwatch shot by virtue of that. God damn it! That elite trooper is gonna hurt someone. Not much. Heavy fire though. in this zone. Just a little bit of a glancing blow, really, if I'm honest. By the way, what's over there? Pick up Mr. Unconscious. Just keep you an can eye on him. Start it. moving towards. This access. is the one, right? Yeah, that's him. Unfortunate, I know. I'd rather not have to deal with okay, I'll go. the prick myself either. Moving to position. Now pick him up. I've got the package. Likewise, start moving away. I'm on it. Fortunately, we have other people who can murder their faces. And who are up close to face Murderville. You, for instance, can help him enter face Murderville. Like that. Ooh, yeah. Whoa! You see that? Now a colonel. Do that. But I'm just going to play it safe and slice his head off. Or murder his face, as the case may be. Target neutralized. Speaking of. I, I guess that'll be okay. You lost. Moving up. If you but say I so. wonder how I oh, use those stairs. Those. Good thing no one was over by that. Yeah. I gotta use those couple of stairs, I guess, since I blew up the ladder. Getting it done. You start moving up with your fellow soldier's body. Out of here next turn or thereabouts. No, and I guess no, we're no. using I guess we're using this climby pole. Climby pole. Yep, that's the technical term now. Climby pole. Personally, I'm more of a fan of thingamma what's it or whatchamacallit, but On I it. suppose climby pole also works. And I don't know what it is, but on all of my missions where I lose someone, or 
the vast majority of them, at least, it seems to be my rangers and medics that go down ahead of anyone else, really. Ten four. They're the ones that die the most for me, are rangers and specialists. Either my enemy is really fucking smart and is actually targeting it, the people I send ahead of everyone else, and the people who keep my guys alive, or I just have really shitty luck in that regard. And if I'm being totally honest, I'm more inclined to think it's a case of the second one, rather than anything else. I don't think they're smart Running. enough for it to be the first, frankly. So, let's get everyone over Double here, time. and then we can get out. Before they send more damn reinforcements. On it! So, we better hurry it up. Got it, moving. And that should be everyone. Just evac all. VIP and let's secure get out of here. Okay. Mission accomplished. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Excellent. We did lose one soldier, though, and. That's unfortunate, but considering everything else, I think it went about as well as it could have done. And especially considering this is my first time back playing this game in about two to three months, if not longer, I would say I did quite the excellent job, considering how long Advent it's been since I've played this and how rusty I undoubtedly am. Exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. So considering that, I'd say it went pretty damn were well. To better train Advent forces. And we're back to the propaganda bullshit. Of course we are. And we are back. Not looking especially cheerful, but they aren't so bad. We only lost one person after all. Hey, this is XCOM. You lose one person, uh, that's pretty damn remarkable. Our good friend Mr. Khan has been promoted to Colonel. He is now the highest ranking one we've got. So, what do we want? Well, he's been more of a direct in-your-face, slice-their-heads-off bitch kind of guy. So, what I think I'm going to go for, let's see, rapid fire. Uh, you can fire twice, but aim penalty of minus 15 for the second shot, or Reaper. Oh, seeing as I've been playing Mr. Khan here as more of a sword type of fighter, I think Reaper fits that playstyle better. Devastating chain melee attack, where the first attack cannot miss, and each one grants an each kill and Reaper grants an extra action, but the further ones have reduced damage. I'm going for that. Rapid fire is definitely one of the most useful skills out there, but I'm just going down the tree that fits the way I've been building out this particular range of the best at the moment. Our specialist has been promoted. And we're going for the covering fire. Honestly, I don't like either of those really well, but it's the least useless of the two of them for the way I play. 
I don't want to increase a protocol cooldown, because a protocol I really need to use. I really need the ability to use it often and frequently. And that means the same damn thing in this case, doesn't it? You get run and gun, and I'm building you out that way. And, uh, Mr. Khan here is not only promoted to Colonel, but he's the only one to make it out of that mission without a damn scratch. So, well done, Khan. And would you look at that? We have ourselves a prisoner. Hello, Commander. Great service, blah blah blah. I get some intel, I get supplies. Thank you so much. And a bunch of people picked up Fear of the Chosen. God damn it, I hate that. I really hate it. So, move negative traits. Second, before we go off, Commander, yeah, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we yeah. have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. I... We can start construction on the shadow chamber whenever you're ready, Commander. Yeah, leave without excavating. I gotta see what we got available to us. Scilab's just about done. I am going to make a few upgrades. Power relay upgraded. One of our power relays is getting an upgrade, so we can have more power. Resistance communications. Resistance communications facility upgraded. That's all the upgrades I'm going to do for now. What we're going to do next? Avenger plotting new course. This. Get some supplies. And that is the hunter's axe we have now completed. I will hold off on Silent. adding anything else. Now to that. operational. Yes. One side lab ready to go. So we can now train up ourselves some Jedi, aka psionic soldiers. And yes, I refer to them as Jedi. Just for the hell of it. We have a couple of rookies sitting around, so I am going to start training them as psionic soldiers. Add a second cell, but not really necessary. I'm probably gonna try and train up like three or four psionic soldiers, really. If I can manage it. Got a sharpshooter there. So, next thing to do is go to the Guerrilla Tactics School and. Uh, we just lost one in the last mission, so I am going to train us another specialist to replace our old one. We could get cool under pressure for the specialists, but uh, not really that too in, not really that into the idea, really. Also, I'm going to get two more soldiers on our team. Incoming message and for you, Commander. That 
patching it through to your quarters now. Giving us you our supplies. Have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. You negatives, but not that many. Increase their strength in combat is going on with the Warlock. Unfortunately. I've got a good deal of intel. I'm going to reveal this hidden event. So what we've got are a decrease in supplies to the next supply drop. Missed shots on officers and priests will trigger a return fire. And one additional block to Avastar, Avatar Project Progress. So... I don't think we have anything else we want to add here, frankly. That's 335 supplies. The thing we're going after right now is four supplies. We just picked them up automatically, that's right. I forgot we had the thing that did that, really. Now... We completed our research as in remarkable the time, Commander. Research done. The aliens aren't going to be happy when they see we've got energy weapons just like theirs now. Yeah, well, they can go fuck themselves, quite frankly. Nice. We're pulling ahead in the arms race. Can't say I'm not happy to see that. We have plasma rifles, beam pistols, beam auto pistols beam cannons plus and we have access to a couple more researches it's powered shadow keeper what the hell is that oh this is just a different form of one of those assassin weapons isn't it vector rifles breakthrough uh, to be honest i don't really care about that right now the lost I've seen members of the crew quietly glancing at the scar on my neck. If I wasn't We're forced to remove the chip myself, do the incisions might have been cleaner. Yes, Commander. Our autopsy of the loss now. It's just gonna take a day. And after that, we'll start on the assassin weapons. Although similar in appearance to the psionic zombies, because I think we they're fairly previously in our done. engagements with the aliens. How good they are! Our current frankly. indications are that these lost are the product of something else entirely. Prolonged exposure to the chemical agents first released in the earliest stages of the invasion seem to have turned these once innocent civilians into yet another form of the undead. Yep, it's zombies. We have the zombie apocalypse in XCOM. Ain't it just lovely? Some of our people are a little worse for wear after that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be fine. Glad to hear it. So we can start on new covert actions. We then. might take the elders by surprise if we switch up our tactics. Maybe we should try something new. Okay. Now I'm going to go for this one. So we can recruit another Reaper is what I think this will let us do. You can have these two. Over is our Get on it. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Let's get this false autopsy over and done with. And the bolt cast is done as well. I do not think well. I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Ultrasonic lure. Let's draw the loss to it. Yada yada yada. I think it's time to research the assassin weapons. So that we can make use of their toys. Uh, I will make that our highest priority. Okay then. And 
that is a negative tree removed. So, let's check this out. Armory, infirmary, is there anyone else with any negative traits? Can remove. I'm going to remove it from the lower ranked people first, just because we'll feel the effect of their absence from the battlefield far less than with this sort of thing. That's the frost bomb done. Oh right, these things she's getting are the spe she's building are the special weapons that we picked up from the Alien Hunters DLC. That's right. Psionic training is complete. Depending on who for you ask, psionics here. could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own psi operatives can tap into that same power. Well, first order of business, I am changing his damn armor. That's hideous. Next, one of three things. Soul Fire does guaranteed psionic damage to an organic enemy, ignores cover and armor, remotely detonates any explosives they're carrying, or Void Rift, an explosive field that immediately damages everything within. I'm going for Soul Fire as my first choice, I think. Get me a little bit of guaranteed damage right off the bat. Strategic resource located. I'll take me some supplies, thank you. Let's see. I have a few more contacts. I think it's time to start spreading our wings and gain access Setting course to for the South Southern African Africa. Start moving outside of the Americas for now, I think. Thus, that'll get us closer to some more of these Advent research sites we need to blow up. Attempting to establish local regional contact. And now one of the havens is under attack. There will be no escape. No mercy for those who would defy my gods. Over in this particular region, the New Brazil. Even though that's not technically Brazil, I don't think. But I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. It's been a rather long one for one of my non live stream episodes, but I think it was well worth it. And so, this has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you've been watching XCOM It's too. dark, it's dank, and it's mostly metal. If you've this enjoyed, ship isn't all that different from the old please base. Leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to see more like this. Next time, we'll be doing that retaliation mission. So, until next time, I'll see you then, folks. I'll see you then. So long for now. <laughs>